Hello, this is Sister Charlene Winston coming to you today with Saturday's Daily Bible Study coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. We want to thank each of you for joining with us as we gather together to study and meditate on the Word of the Lord. Amen. Our lesson for today is Hospitality to Angels. Hospitality to Angels coming from Genesis 18 verses 3 through 8. Uh, and before we get started, we're going to have prayer, then we're going to move right into the lesson. Dear God in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for all that you have done, you is doing, and you shall do in each of our life. We give you the honor and the glory, and we bless your holy name. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are for being with us and standing by us and giving us strength, courage, and understanding through your word that we may be strong and courageous in all things that we come upon in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank Thank you for blessing us that our eyes is open that we see and our ears is open that we do hear and we have wisdom knowledge and understanding from on high that we may be more proficient in being a doer of your word and not a hearer only in jesus name we do pray amen amen and amen all right we're going to dive right into this wonderful lesson hospitality to angels amen come from genesis 18 through uh, 18 verses 3 through 8. Before we get started, I want to remind you, you know, we do remember as Jesus Christ himself said, when we do unto the least of his, the little ones, we have done it unto him. When we uh, feed the hungry, when we uh, 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 heal the sick, when we cast out devils, when we uh, 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 visit those that's in need, when we do these things, we are doing it as unto him. Amen. This is as why we are to look at things that we are doing, not that we are doing something for, for a person or a, a particular group of people, but we are doing it unto God. Amen. Uh, the scripture lesson, uh, Genesis 18, verses 3 through 8 says, and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched, and wash your feet, and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread, and comfort ye your hearts. After that you shall pass on, for therefore are ye come to your servant. And... Hmm, sorry about that. It said, uh, For therefore are ye come to your servant. And they said, So do as thou hast said. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal needed and make cakes upon the earth, upon the hearth. And Abraham ran unto the herd and fetched a calf tender and good and gave it unto a young man and he hastened to dress it and he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them and he stood by them under the tree and they did eat. Amen. This is a great and powerful passage. It's as we know, uh, uh, previously in one of our other lessons during this week, we read where uh, uh, Gideon uh, uh, entertained angels, and but he was not aware. But uh, Abraham was aware of who he was entertaining, so they did sit and eat. They did wash their feet. They did wait as he had asked. But uh, Gideon was not aware of who he was entertaining. And so th in that case, instead of them eating the, the, the food that was set before them, they uh, uh, showed him it was it, it as a sacrifice by burning that that he brought, amen, as their purification with fire, amen. Uh, commentary says, Abraham was waiting to entertain any weary traveler for ends were not to be met with as among us. While Abraham was thus sitting, he said three men, he saw three men coming. These were three heavenly beings in human bodies. Some think they were all created angels others that one of them was the son of God. The angel of the covenant washing the feet is customary in 
those hard climates where only sandals are worn. We should not be forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Hebrew 13 and 2. Nay, the Lord of the angels himself, as we always do, when for his sake we entertain the least of his brethren. Cheerful and obliging manners and showing kindness are great ornaments to pity, to piety. Though our uh, con condescending Lord uh, vouchsafes not personal visits to us, yet still by his spirit he stands at the door and knocks. When we are inclined to open, he uh, dines he he dines to enter, and by the his gracious uh, conscious consolations, he provides a rich feast of which we partake with him. Revelations three and twenty. Amen. That's a powerful statement that they stated uh, concerning this passage that uh, uh, with uh, Abraham uh, uh, being a a gracious host that we in our in turn as we are gracious hosts then we are in turn uh dining with the lord amen and doing his will amen so when we're inclined uh to open the door that he not that instead of him coming as the, they did in those days until as angels he comes and knocks at the door of our heart asking us to allow him to come in and to dine with us. Let us open up our heart that he may dine with us. Amen. And he uh, prepares the meal, the feast for us that we may eat, that we may partake. It's as the, uh, the disciples said, did our hearts not burn within as he spoke with us by the way. Amen. This is such a wonderful and powerful lesson that we have uh, throughout this week. Amen. Uh, I pray you meditate Meditate on this lesson. I would like to also ask you if something is said touches your heart, soul, or spirit, or you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom below and I will address them or make a comment on them. I would also like to ask you also if you would join with us as we join together to study and meditate on the word of the Lord that we may be stronger and not weak, not failing in this dire time that we are uh, embarking upon at this time and that we may be overcomers and not be uh, allow it to bring us down. Amen. I pray you meditate on this wonderful and blessed lesson and I would like to uh, ask you that you continue to pray for each other as we go forward. Be in assessors one to another. Amen. Throughout the whole United States States that we as we go through this turmoil of hatred and fear in Jesus name I pray and y'all have a wonderful and blessed day